Hey guys, me host Superzaro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! I got lots of stuff. <laughs> so guys, uh, it's package delivery day as you can probably see. And I've got a lot of cool stuff going on here. These two we're going to be opening right now on the channel. I'm unboxing these bad boys. But we do have the subscription boxes that have been delivered as well. Including my geek box. So I'll be doing a review on that ASAP. So a my geek box video will be coming probably tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned for my geek box. In fact, I'll do the my geek box this evening. Because you're seeing this video at midnight. So this will be the second video of the day. Uh, so we'll do the my geek box then. Uh, then we've also got a second subscription box to look at, which actually I might unbox in this video. It's the monthly tea club. So these guys have asked me uh, to unbox one of their subscription boxes. So I said I would do so. We might start with this actually. Yeah, let's start with this. So this is the monthly tea club established in 2015. Um, there's no other details on the packaging. And they include a t-shirt in every box. They have various different uh, levels of subscription and um, they asked me to have a look at their t-shirts so I said I would so let's take a look so they've just included the one the one t-shirt um, in the box well that's big whoa that's very big is that triple is that 3XL or is that bigger that's 3XL it looks bigger to me Johnny 5 is alive is that a, a nice t-shirt? We don't only get white t-shirts, so it's nice for a bit of a change. Johnny Five is alive. Yeah, that's not bad. So when you sign up for them, basically you have to tell them what kind of things you're into. Whether you're into like sci-fi, Disney movies, 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 uh, Disney movies, music. You know, there's various different like, like categories you can choose. Um, I chose sort of like the films and sci-fi were kind of my thing. I'm trying to remember what Johnny Five is from. Isn't Johnny Five from Lost in Space? I'm gonna have a quick I'm gonna have a quick Google while I've got you. It is gonna annoy me because I remember the name Johnny Five. Eh. What is this? Johnny Five is alive. Short Circuit, 1986. Mm. So, uh, Tim Blaney was the voice of the robot named Johnny Five in a film called Short Circuit in 1986. It was a TriStar Pictures production in the United States and was released back in May 9th, 1986. Uh, starring Ali Sheedy and Steve Guttenberg. Uh, directed by John Badham. Not one I'm familiar with. Never seen that movie. Eh, interesting t-shirt. Anyway, so I'll do the My Geekbox video later on uh, today. But we still have these two to open. Let's start with the box. In fact, no, let's start with the bag. The bag will be easier to get into. Yeah, let's see what we got. And when I say that, guys, and, I, and I, people say to me all the time, you always sound really surprised when you open things that you already ordered. It's like, yeah, because sometimes I order these things, like, months ago. And you don't always get shipping notifications. So you don't always know what's coming. You just get a bunch of stuff being delivered. Can you tell what it is yet? So, Amethyst Retail. Oh, I know what this is now. Thank you for your order. We are proud stockists of great quality figures, statues and collectibles with companies such as NECA and Kotobukiya. So, guys, check out Amethyst Retail. I got these on Amazon, if it's what I think it is. So, go ahead and check them out. That's my invoice. Let's leave that there. Eesh. Oh, yeah, it is what I think it is. Just in the back of the package, you can see the back of the package through this. I'm gonna tease you. <laughs> Let's try and get it in.
<laughs> so guys, we have here the ghost predator. Yeah. Yeah. Loving it. He's got his mask there as well, so we can actually put the mask on him. See, this is what I thought the other one was like the other day. So here's the mask, but he's actually got his face as well. I love that about these figures. So we can have the masked version, or we can have the unmasked version. And this is the Ghost Predator. <clears throat> Again, yeah, this is based on uh, NECA and Real... From, sorry, this is from NECA and by Real Toys um, in partnership with 20th Century Fox. The Ghost Predator, narrowly escaping a Super Predator raid on his village, the Predator known as Ghost has used his presumed dead status to his advantage. He has devoted his life to systematically eliminating the entire race of those responsible for the death of his people. Living in complete solitude, Ghost has taught himself extreme focus and patience, often scouting supreme, supreme predator tribes for weeks before a calculated strike. Using specialised thermal dampening netting, he is only seen for seconds before a kill. This has caused him to become a subject of super predator lore, a boogeyman, whom his targets fear. The psychological advantage gives Ghost an edge in combat, and as his opponents are often fear-stricken upon seeing him, his plasma caster is only for defence. Ghost prefers the death blow of a cleaver sword or smart disc, ensuring that his prey see him that moment of death. That's pretty sick. That's awesome. So guys, let me know if you want to see that ASAP on the channel. I have got him, and I'm really excited to have him. So this is the Ghost Predator. Again, let me know how you, if, you, if you want to see this one sooner rather than later. Let us know in the comments. That's a sick tie, though, right? Okay, box number two. So guys, it's from GTS Toy Store, also known as the Geek Toy Store. Go check them out on the interwebs, guys. Geek Toy Store. Finally have him, guys. It's Grand Moff Tarkin. Yes. <laughs> He's finally all mine, guys. Number 63 in the Star Wars Black Series collection. He's a part of the new solo release wave. It's Grand Moff Tarkin. Oh, and it looks just like Pizza Crushing. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> if you want to see this review sooner or later, guys, which I know you do, hit me up in the comments, let us know. And we'll definitely work something out to get that reviewed ASAP. I'm probably going to be reviewing this probably tomorrow at the latest, because I'm super excited to have this in my collection already. I know a lot of people already have him. I had to wait till round two to get mine, but I've got him. Secured him. He's mine. Done. <sighs> I can sleep easy. Yeah. Guys, what are your thoughts on Grandma Tarkin? And what are your thoughts on the Ghost Predator? Also, would you consider getting that t-shirt company? Probably not the best t-shirt for them to start me off on. I would have liked to have seen them do something. Because, like, when it when it was the first time for, t for the uh, Geeky Tea Box, or Tea Bag, for Geeky Tea Bag, when it was their first time sending me something, they kind of went all out with it. Whereas this just seemed very, I don't know, I think they could have done more. I think the t-shirt choice could have been better for the first one to show off on the channel. It was a bit of an obscure movie. Maybe it's a cult classic and I just don't understand. If it is, let me know in the comments down below. Tell me to stop being daft, but I don't know. I would have thought that it started me off on like Star Wars or Marvel or something. Big page going crazy out there. <laughs> But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. As you can see, there's some awesome stuff coming that you just know I want to miss. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!